Hi everyone! Welcome to Galaxy Training Network's Chloroplast Genome Assembly tutorial video. My name is Hannah Kim, and I'm a bioinformatics researcher at Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In this video, we will walk through the tutorial originally written by Anna Simi together. When we sequence a genome, we obtain data in the form of fragmented reads. Shorter fragments typically provide higher accuracy for each base, but this fragmentation means we need to assemble these pieces back into the original sequence in the right order. This process is why genome assembly methods are crucial. In this tutorial, we will explore a chloroplast genome sequence obtained using two different methods. The Illumina method, which is the traditional approach, generates short reads. In contrast, the Oxford nanopore method produces longer reads. It is these long reads that facilitate assembly and improve characterization of the sequence, such as the detection of structural variants. A chloroplast genome comes from a circular chromosome. We will use a reduced dataset from Zhao et al. 2018. Instead of working with gigabytes of data, we will be using a smaller dataset in the scale of megabytes. This particular data comes from Sweet Potato, and there are both Illumina and Nanopore versions available. Briefly, we will check read quality, assemble reads, polish assembly, and an annotate assembly. All right, let's get started. First, name a new history on Galaxy. Next, go to the Upload tab. Copy the Genodo links for reduced sweet potato data files. Paste them. Name the files and click Start. While the data is uploading, search for Nanoplot in the Tools tab. We can see that we need to rename each dataset to tell them apart. Rename each dataset by clicking the pencil icon in the history. Under the Attributes tab, update the name field as appropriate. We can tweak the parameters in the nanoplot page. Batch, FastQ, and our nanopore FastQ file. All settings seem correct. Now let's hit Run. The process is running if the color has turned orange. Okay, the job is finished. Let's see what it did by clicking on I icon. This will show us all the details about the job. The job ran for 28 seconds. Now, let's check the job output by clicking on the eyeball icon of the HTML report. We can find information about our FASTQ file here. Generally, we would be looking for information about sequencing depth, sequencing quality, and read length. Check out the histograms for read length. We have a shorter version of the report in the form of nanostats. Convenient, right? Nanostats post filtering file is empty for this run. Fly is a de novo assembler that does not require a reference sequence. We will use this tool to assemble the sweet potato chloroplast genome. Note that different versions of Fly may be available in different versions of Galaxy. While it is generally a better idea to use the more recent versions, we will use version 2.6 here to match the parameters given in the tutorial. We will use the Nanopore FASTQ file that has the estimated genome size of 160k base pairs. Let's hit Run to start the assembly.
We got five outputs after 14 minutes this time. Let's rename the fly assembly on data to consensus as fly assembly dot day. We can check how many contigs were assembled by looking at the log. We can also check the length of the contigs. In this particular case, we got one contig and the length of the contig is 158,886. The assembly info file contains individual contig names and lengths. Lastly, we can visualize the assembly using the bandage info and bandage image tools. Make sure to use the graphical fragment assembly output file for this. Note that fly version 2.6 resolved the assembly into a single circle. We will use the shorter but more accurate Illumina reads to correct sequencing errors in the nanopore assembly. Let's first map the Illumina reads using BWAMEM. Here, we will use the assembly FASTA file as a reference. We will let BWA decide algorithm for constructing the BWT index. It is a single end. The data is Illumina. no read groups, and we are using the simple Illumina mode. Rename the BWA mem output file as Illumina.bam. Pile on does the actual polishing. We will not use the baryon calling mode, but we will create a changes file. The rest of the setting looks fine otherwise. The changes file will show the differences before and after polishing. We should rename the fast day output to polish the assembly that fast day. To compare the results, run fast day statistics on both the original fly assembly fast day and the new polished assembly fast day. We want to put the assembly back into the biological context. One way is to use PROCA, the prokaryotic genome annotation tool, to approximately annotate our chloroplast genome. PROCA will return several output files. GFF and GBK are two different formats of genomic feature annotations.
The txt file contains the summary of number of features. The FAA file contains protein information, and the FFN file contains nucleotide information. As an alternative to PROCA, we can use GSIC for annotation. First, download the polished assembly FASTA file from the history. Upload this file to the Chlorobox web application and adjust the parameters as needed. OK. Click Submit to start the process. Here is what the GFF file from GEC looks like. Next, we will view the annotation file using the JBrowse genome browser. In this step, the tutorial indicated that we needed to use the JBrowse Galaxy version 1.16.4 plus Galaxy 3. We want to view the Polish assembly FASTA file using the plant plastic genetic code. We are doing the new JBrowse instance. We will insert a track group. Then insert an annotation track. Choose the type GFF GFF3 bed features and select the GFF file from PROCA. Now we hit run. Here, I'm showing two versions of the previous step, one that errored out, and then the one that was successful. Let's examine the one with error. If we click on the eye icon, we can see that there are some issues with running the basic Unix command find. Perhaps that version is currently experiencing version incompatibility issue. To resolve these type of issues in the future, try running a more recent version of the tool. Note that we can rerun the same job with the same parameters by clicking on the counterclockwise arrow icon. We use the JBrowse Galaxy version 1.16.11 plus Galaxy 1, and the job completed successfully. Finally, view the annotation by clicking on the eyeball icon. Use the magnifying glass to zoom in and out. Check the box next to the PROCA GFF file to display the annotations. If we zoom out far enough, we will see the names of the annotated genomic features on the track. If we need to repeat the analysis with a different dataset, here is one way to do it. Let's get the dataset link from Zenodo. Upload the data into the history. Update the attributes as we did previously. Next, extract the workflow from our original history. We can make minor tweaks as needed. Click Create Workflow. Beautiful, isn't it? We can further edit the workflow by moving the nodes around. We are almost ready to run the workflow. Make sure to adjust any settings specific to this dataset. Are our inputs correct? What should our genome size be for the fly assembly step? 
We want to send all new outputs to a new history. Hit run. See how all the steps that we followed on the tutorial have been submitted? That's a wrap! I hope you enjoyed learning how to assemble the chloroplast genome on Galaxy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching!